voices. My name is Jason Newland. Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. Now, just to let you know that there is an app for this deep sleep whisper we call um, podcast. So if you go to uh, Google Play and just put in deep sleep whisper hypnosis, it'll come up. You can download that for free onto your Android device.
emergency. Does this thought need my attention right now? Is this thought important? And it's get it, getting things into perspective. specific times so if you're running a bath you've got the you've got the plug in the bath and you turn the bath the taps on in the bath and maybe you've gone into the kitchen or to the living room or into the bedroom whatever it's really important to remember to keep an eye on the bath to make sure it doesn't overflow valid in that situation when you're sitting watching television you don't need to think about the bath if the taps aren't running just like you haven't got to think about the oven if it's on it's not on. So if you're cooking, you need to keep an eye on the oven. If you've got food in the oven, making sure that it, everything, you know, is cooking properly and it doesn't burn and just generally keeping an eye on things. or a train or sitting at work you don't need to think about the oven you don't need to think about the bath so when you your attention and if there is something that requires your attention then attend to it now so if something's an emergency Something's really important. Like making sure the doors are locked. Making sure, you know, everything's how you want it to be before you sleep. It's good to get that stuff done before you go to bed. But generally, there's not going to be anything your attention nothing needs your mind to get caught up in that stuff when you're lying in bed it doesn't matter what you're going to eat tomorrow doesn't matter what you ate the previous day. Doesn't matter what the weather's going to be like. It doesn't matter about previous relationships. Not even health matters. Nothing matters when you're sleeping. A 
as long as you're safe, as long as you're looking after yourself and you're doing what's necessary for your physical and emotional safety, everything else is taken care of. Don't have to think about anything because it's not relevant to the process of sleeping. And you know what? Sleeping is supposed to be pleasurable. It's supposed to be fun. It's a great opportunity to lay down comfortably, close your eyes, relax your body, and let your mind just naturally slow down and drift away. And that sense of relaxation it's pleasurable. It's physically and emotionally pleasurable. As well as the pleasure that you get from your brain, from your mind, the peacefulness. It's pleasurable. And you can experience that pleasure just by lying there, by noticing it. focus on how it feels to just be relaxed in all the different parts of your body. It feels really nice because there's nothing else to think about. same way as if you go to a cinema or the movies to watch a, a film you wouldn't take a jigsaw puzzle with you to do while the movie was on you got to watch the movie situation imagine if you go to a baptism of a child maybe your own child or a niece, nephew, friend's child take a guitar just to practice. Practice your guitar or your banjo in the church or wherever it is during a ceremony. Practicing your chords. Practicing it's been a hard day's night by the Beatles. job interview I wouldn't make a recording a deep sleep <laughs> whisper recording whilst I was being interviewed for the job I wouldn't say excuse me you just keep, be, keep quiet for 20 minutes and start you know whispering Because it doesn't fit. It doesn't. It's a 
absurd. Just like thinking about anything when you're lying down in your bed is pointless. It's as absurd as playing that banjo at the wedding when you're just a guest. Or walking out onto the pitch of a football match during half time and just start playing the trumpet just randomly tap dancing at a funeral absurdity things don't fit just like sleeping and thinking sleep happens naturally without your input at all. Sleeping is not a conscious thing. It doesn't need you to be involved. You don't need to micromanage your sleep. If you have a thought come up, as I said, you can reword this if you choose, but let's just use the words that I come up with now. The next thought that comes up in your mind, ask it, just ask yourself, is this important? Is it relevant? Or better still, you could ask, is thinking about this going to help you sleep? If the answer is no, let it go. Knock it away like it was a baseball. just talking about uh, unhelpful thoughts even nice thoughts you could be thinking about lovely things and you might want to continue doing that because sometimes I do if I'm laying in bed and I'm thinking lovely thoughts I'm just enjoying it I'm happy to sit to lay there for half an hour thinking about nice stuff and then just naturally drift off to sleep. But I 
that's got to be a choice that you make so regardless of the thought you can ask yourself is thinking about this going to help me sleep Just no. Let it go. Knock that baseball way into the distance. Or if you like cricket, knock that cricket ball way into the distance. Or it could be a tennis ball. Or it could be a football, rugby ball. suits you because this is your mind this is your life this is your sleep and the next thought that comes up is thinking about this can it help me sleep process and your mind will remember so that tomorrow night when you go lie down and your body relaxes your head touches a pillow your mind slows down and maybe that thought you had tonight that you question thinking about this going to help me sleep and you realise no and you let it go but there's no reason for that to come back there's no reason for that to return As you think about it, it's like a nightclub. A nightclub might say, you can't come in unless you're wearing shoes and trousers. In some nightclubs, maybe they let you in anyway, but it's that one nightclub know that you go and try and get in there and they said no not without shoes and you say please and they say no and you go back the next weekend and they say we told you last weekend you can't come in without shoes you can't wear flip flops or trainers or sneakers or anything high heels well high heels is fine but you have to wear shoes no wellington boots no skis no roller skates shoes so you go away and you go back the next weekend we told you you can't get in without shoes word gets out so when the club opened loads of people without shoes were just wearing whatever they wanted trying to get in but getting turned away over time you look you go back and you look at the queue waiting everybody's got shoes on because everybody knows that they won't get in without shoes just like your mind those thoughts get turned away because they're not 
useful to helping you to sleep. Word gets around and less thoughts arise because they give up. It's pointless.